The Bible tells us in Psalm 40, verse 5, Many, O Lord, my God, are the wonders you have done. And God, you have done so many wonders this year. We want to just thank you. So, uh, Jenna, your name, how do you spell that? J-E-N-N-A. That's me, J-A-M-E-S. James is five letters in my name. Who else has five letters in their name? Can you spell that? J E S U S. <laughs> Correct. There's five more Sundays left in this year, and uh, we just want to count down the days of 2020, count down the days till Christmas as we just anticipate and, and wonder how great Jesus is every single day. So uh, we're going to pray right now for our service and think of so many ways that we can thank God and thank Jesus and uh, just thank each other that. We have this life and this time to worship together. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that we can be here together in this service today. And thank you for all the people who are here to worship with us and all that you've done through us through this quarantine where we have to stay home. And you let us all get through it together. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We are on a Ferris wheel and something that we like to do at mealtime is discuss highs and lows. So at this time, we're ending November, we're coming into December. December is December to remember. So we're going to talk about highs and lows of the year. Samuel, first, what's your... What's your high of the year? Low is for low. Uh, my high is that we can be in Six Flags right now. It's so fun, and there's no lines, like barely any lines. Whoa! What's, like there was just the the, and we actually got to go into the Flash Pass, and we don't even have it. What's your low? Oh, my low is. Uh, We're high now. I don't know. What's your low of this year? I didn't get as much things accomplished as I thought I would. I'm scared. Jenna, what's your high? And I got in trouble a lot. That we got to see Okay. What's your low? That I'm scared about this. I don't know. I know I'm super slow, but I'm like so scared. Sorry, what's your high? <laughs> Sorry, what's your high? <laughs> We're on the top of the Ferris wheel right now. Lots of highs and lows over there. What's your high? I can't, I can't speak right now. What's your low? Uh, I'm scared of this. The one thing that I, I, I would love is that. Uh, oh, we stopped? Oh, man. Oh, man. Nicer. So what's your high for this year? That we're alive, we're safe, we're healthy, and we're together as a family, even though we are all the way high up here and I don't like heights. <laughs> what's your low? Um, our low is that, you know, the coronavirus was a bit intense and, you know, it made life different, but I'm just still grateful that we're alive and we get to be together as family. Great. I'm taking off my mask because there's people are six feet apart from me. The highs of this year is that we got to spend a lot more family time. We got to think about the Bible a lot more. We got to think about God and what we're grateful for this whole month of November. The lows are that we haven't met in person for church, but we've been doing these videos. We have so many videos that we did this year and uh, we just look forward to seeing you guys. We thank you so much for being parts of the high to low of 2020 to December, help it to be a December to remember how grateful we are for Jesus as he went through highs and lows for us. And uh, we love you guys. Uh, we're about to get low because we're very high right now. We're on top of the world. So, 
as we end the month of November, a great activity you can do is writing a thank you card to God. So these guys are going to write down all the things that they're thankful for. Continuing to have a heart of gratitude. So what are some things that you guys might write down in your thankful thank you card to God? <laughs> oh, that we can have laughter like I could just have it now. Just for the little things we get some joyful laughter. Okay, what else? And love. 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 Family. And just for God creating us. And Jesus. And that 2021 is almost over. Oh, well, I mean, 2021 is coming. Well, like, like, 2020 uh, is almost 2020 over. 2020 is almost over. And this we're looking from the future. So now it's time for our craft. And since November is coming to an end, December is right around the corner. So we are going to make some advent calendars and Jenna is making one on a smaller sheet of paper an 8 by 11 and cutting her post-its in half and Victoria is going to make it on a poster board. And Victoria explain to us what December is the time for remembering Jesus. So we're going to make an advent calendar starting on December 1st all the way up to Christmas Jesus' birth. And so how I'm going to do this, I'm actually, I'm using a big paper. So I'm using a small paper. And what you'll need for this is markers, post-its, and a piece of paper. It can either be a big poster board or just a regular sheet of paper. And if you're using a regular sheet of paper, cut the post-its in half. And then, so what we're going to do is get the post-its and arrange it into an array of five by five. <laughs> so we're going to put five post-its across and five post-its down because there's 25 days and we're gonna make a big one for Christmas. And then on each post-it, we're gonna write the numbers of the dates. So we're gonna write one, two, three, all the way to 25. And then under the post-its on each day when you lift it up, we're gonna have a different word that describes Jesus so we can remember who Jesus is and what he does. Putting all your post it notes on your paper. You can start writing your numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And after that, you can finish the rest of your numbers till you get to Christmas. The Christmas star Santa. Yeah. I'm going to write some words at the bottom of each.
What words describe Jesus? Good. So every day you can think about a word that describes Jesus. When you lift up your paper and you're counting down, thinking about the days till Christmas. Sure, think about how he brings you joy. Think about how Jesus is good. Is making. We can think about how he's faithful to us. Or we could even think about how we want to be more faithful. Victoria? I'm also going to write my words. I did a cool thing for the Christmas um, for Christmas Day. I made a bigger one. And now I'm going to write my words under my paper. And when you're done, you'll have a list of 25 words that describe who Jesus is to you. So we want to remember Jesus every day in December, in November, and in 2021. When we start a new year in January, we love Jesus. Let's count down all the ways that we love him. Two at a time. Check it out. Go. Oh, nice. Go, go, go. Big finale, a double twist spin. Oh. Oh. Okay, for this activity, you pick part of the room that you're going to cut in half. Side A is answer A. The other side will be side B. That'll be answer B. First question. Do you prefer turkey or B? Choose now. Right? This turkey. That's ham side. Side B. Oh, okay. oh, 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 I don't like ham. I'm sorry. Turkey <laughs> side. Turkey no, turkey Do you prefer turkey. sweet potato or mashed potato? Sweet potato side A. Mashed potato side B. Do you choose A, apple pie, or B, pumpkin pie? Yeah. Apple pie. I used to like pumpkin. Pumpkin's so good. It's too mushy, man. So I used good. to like it, man. Just like. Do you choose A, apples, or B, oranges? Oh. Oranges. Oh wait. Oranges. I like apples too. I like, I like all fruits, but oranges. Yesterday, I ate like 10 oranges. Not even kidding. Do you choose A, vanilla ice cream, or B, chocolate ice cream? I like vanilla. I like chocolate, but vanilla is better. Ah, here's the vanilla one. fresh tea, like Abby Chipmunks. Do you choose A, breakfast, or B, dinner? Breakfast. Dinner. I like pancakes. You know, I can get pancakes for dinner. And I can get some fried rice, cauliflower. Choose your own. Bye bye.